एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल होप यू ऑल अव फाइन एंड वॉश माई प्रीवियस टू वीडियोज इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू द फंडामेंटल थियोरम ऑफ अर्थमैटिक एंड ऑल्सो वी विल बी कवरिंग वन पॉइंट टू एक्सरसाइज ऑफ एन सी आर टी लेट स्टार्ट विद द फंडामेंटल थियोरम ऑफ अर्थमैटिक फर्स्ट द फंडामेंटल थियोरम ऑफ अर्थमैटिक which means that every composite number can be represented as the product of its prime numbers you can take any composite number for example 45 which can be represented in form of its prime number like in this case the prime factors are 3 into 3 9 into 5 45 let's take another composite number 12 you can write it as 2 into 2 4 into 3 12 you can take any composite number and then you can represent in form of prime factors this is also known as prime factorization method okay in this fundamental theorem of arithmetic it is saying that factorization is unique that means 45 will only be divisible by prime factor 3 and 5 which is quite obvious but its order can be different like order means you can write it this way also 3 multiply by 5 multiply by 3 or 3 or you can write it as 5 multiply by 3 multiply by 3 they all are same the multiplication is 45 3 and 5 are unique only the order is different similarly in this case also you can write it as 2 multiply by 3 into 2 or 3 multiply by 2 multiply by 2 in general we should write prime factors in ascending order as shown in this picture students now we will start with our exercise 1.2 from ncert question number 1 express each number as a product of its prime factors here you have five parts in this question i am taking just two because it's very easy you can easily solve so first part is 3825 you all know that how to do prime factorization i am doing prime factorization of 3825 okay this number is divisible by 3 you know the divisibility test of 3 If you add all the number, then it should be a multiple of three. Like in this case, it's seven. Seven plus eight, fifteen. Fifteen plus three is eighteen, which is a multiple of three. Twenty-one, and then three fives of fifteen. Okay. If you see again, it's some sum is multiple of three. That means it's divisible by three. Four. Twenty-five. Now you will divide this number by five. Forty, and then five fives are twenty-five. Again, you will divide this number by five. Sevens are thirty-five. Then seventeen is a prime number. So this is the prime factorization. At the end, you will represent three eight two five as a product of prime number three. Multiply by three, five multiply five multiply by seven, or you can write three raised to power two, multiply five raised to power two, multiply seven. So this is the answer. Next, five zero zero five. This is divisible by five. One zero zero. One. Okay. Now this number is divisible by eleven. Eleven nines ninety nine, and then eleven one uh, eleven. Okay. Uh, it's div divisible by seven. Thirteen, and thirteen is a prime number one. So you will write five zero zero five is equals to five multiply by. Seven multiply by eleven multiply by thirteen. So this is the answer. In similar way, you can solve rest of the parts. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फाइंड द एल सी एम एंड एच सी एफ ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पेयर्स ऑफ इंटीजर्स एंड वेरीफाई एल सी एम मल्टीप्लाई बाय एच सी एफ इज इक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर्स सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल्सो बेस्ड ऑन प्राइम फैक्ट्राइजेशन लिस्ट टू इट वेन यू विल डू प्राइम फैक्ट्राइजेशन ऑफ ट्वेंटी सिक्स थर्टीन एंड यो यू गेट वन सो ट्वेंटी सिक्स इज इक्वल टू टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय थर्टीन नाउ लेट प्राइम फैक्ट्राइज नाइंटी वन नाइंटी वन इज डिविजिबल बाय सेवन थर्टीन वन सो प्राइम फैक्टर्स ऑफ नाइंटी वन इज इक्वल टू सेवन इंटू थर्टीन आउट ऑफ दिस एच सी एफ इज द हाइएस्ट कॉमन फैक्टर विच इज थर्टीन एंड एल सी एम कम्स आउट टू बी टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाय थर्टीन नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू वेरीफाई वेदर दिस एल सी एम मल्टीप्लाई बाय एच सी एफ इज इक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दीज टू नंबर्स और नॉट लेट सॉल्व फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन एच सी एफ मल्टीप्लाई एल सी एम इज इक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ टू नंबर टू नंबर आर ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड नाइंटी वन एच सी एफ इज इक्वल टू थर्टीन एंड एल सी एम इज टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाय थर्टीन ट्वेंटी सिक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाय नाइंटी वन ओके लेट्स मल्टीप्लाई दिस नंबर This is thirteen into thirteen one sixty nine multiply by fourteen and twenty six multiply by ninety one. Student, you can multiply. You will get two three six six in LHS and in RHS both. So this is verified for first case. Okay, now third question. Numbers are three hundred and thirty-six and fifty-four. Again, we will do prime factorization. Three, three, six. This one is divisible by two. One, then two, six, twelve, then two, eight, or sixteen. Again, eighty-four, forty-two, twenty-one. Seven and one. Okay, then for fifty-four, firstly it's divisible by two. Twenty-seven, nine, three, one. So three thirty-six is two raised to power one, two, three, four. Three multiply by seven, and fifty-four is equals to two multiply by three raised to power three. Okay, now you will write HCF. Out of this, one two is common, and three is also common. So HCF is six, whereas LCM is highest power of two, two raised to power four. You will take out of this highest power is three. You will take three raised to power three, and seven is only in first number, so seven. So this is the LCM. Now you have to verify whether LCM into HCF is product of these two numbers. For that, three three six multiply by fifty four. Is equals to HCF six and LCM two raised to power four, three raised to power three multiplied by seven. Student, when you will solve this LHS side and RHS side, then you will get the same number on both the side. That means this statement is verified for both the questions. Also, later on you will use this as a formula in another question. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री गाइस फाइंड द एलसीएम एंड एचसीएफ ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इंटीजर बाय अप्लाइंग प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड आई एम टेकिंग टू एग्जांपल फ्रॉम योर टेक्स बुक फर्स्ट इज ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी वन यूजिंग प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ओके सो लेट्स डू प्राइम फैक्टराइजेशन ऑफ ट्वेल्व दिस इज टू इंटू टू फोर इंटू थ्री ट्वेल्व ओके नेक्स्ट वन फिफ्टीन 15 is 3 into 5. Last one 21. 21 is 3 into 7. Okay, prime factorization of all the three numbers has been done. Now you will write LCM and HCF. Highest common factor. Okay, let's find what's the common factor. 3 is the common factor. And LCM is equals to it's two raised to power two and three raised to power one. One five is remaining and seven. So this is the LCM. Let's calculate it. Two raised to power two is four into five twenty. Twenty into three is sixty and sixty into seven. Is four hundred and twenty. So very easy question. We ha you have done that those type of question in previous classes as well. Okay, another example now. Eight. Prime factorization of eight. Two multiply by two multiply by two, or you can write it as two raised to power three. Another one is nine. Nine is three raised to power three. You can write it as three raised to power two. Twenty five is Five multiply by five, five raised to power two, highest common factor. Okay, from this you can see no prime number is common, so you will directly write that the HCF is one. Now LCM, least common multiple. So least common multiple is two raised to power three multiply three raised to power two. Multiply five raised to power two. Okay, let's multiply this number. Five raised to power two is twenty-five, and two raised to power two is four. Twenty-five into four is hundred. Then hundred into two, two hundred, and then two hundred into nine is eighteen hundred. Okay, let's solve question number four now. Given that HCF of three hundred and six and six fifty seven is nine, find LCM of three hundred and six and six fifty seven. This question is based on formula. Whereas the formula is product of two number, product of two number is equal to HCF of these two number. And LCM of these two number. In this question, two numbers are three hundred and six. Another number six fifty seven. Whereas the HCF is also given to you, which is equals to nine. LCM we have to find. Okay, if you shift nine to this side, this equation comes out to be three hundred and six. Six fifty seven divided by nine is equals to LCM. If you see this number is divisible by three and one zero two again thirty four. So thirty four multiply by six hundred and fifty seven is your LCM. Okay, you can multiply these two numbers. You will get Two two three three eight is the LCM of three hundred and six and six fifty seven. Student, this formula is only valid when you have to find for two numbers because if there are three numbers, that means this formula will not be valid. Yes, question number five, a very easy question, students. 
Check whether 6 raised to power n can end with digit 0 for any natural number n. Okay, let's take an example of a number which ends with 0. For example, 10. Or you take 100. If you do prime factorization, you'll get 2 multiplied by 5 in case of 10. And in this case, you'll get 2 into 2, 4 into 5 into 5 in case of 100. In both the example, you will see there are prime factors 2 and 5. Then only you will get 0 at the end. Number will end with 0 only if it is if it is in the form of 2 raised to power n and 5 raised to power n where n is natural number. Because if n is equals to 0, this will become 2 raised to power 0 and 5 raised to power 0. So this will become 1. So 1 does not end with 0. But for any natural number, you will always get 0. In case of 6 raised to power n, you will express 6 as 2 multiplied by 3 raised to power n. It does not have prime factor 5. That means it is not, is it, this number will not end with 0. Question number 6. Explain why 7 into 11 into 13 plus 13 and 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 5 are composite number. In this question, you should know what are composite numbers. I have already explained in video number 1. But still, let's revise. Composite numbers are the numbers which have factors other than 1 and itself. For example, if I take a number 12, it has factor 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So that means it's a composite number. Whereas if I take an example 5, it has only two factors that is 1 and the number itself 5. Let's start with the first part. 7 multiply 11 into 13 plus 13. From these two terms, if you take 13 common, 7 into 11 and here what will be left? 1 only. After solving this bracket using board mass. That means you have to multiply 7 into 11 first which is 77 plus 1. Now this is 7, uh, 13 into 78. When you multiply these two numbers you will get 1014. Now the, you have to answer me whether it's a composite number or prime number. Clearly you can see it's a Composite number because it has factor 13, 78 and if you fact prime factorize 78 further, you will get another factors also. So clearly 1014 is a composite number. Let's move with our second example. 7 multiply 6 into 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 plus 5. Okay, same concept. From there, you will take 5 common. What will be left? 7 into 6, 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. And what will be left? Plus 1. Okay. Now, we have to solve this bracket. We will multiply it first. Okay, let's start this way. 7 into 3, 21. And 6 into 4, 24 into 2, 48. When you multiply this term, you will get 1008. 5, 1008 plus 1. This comes out to be 1009. If you multiply, you will get 1045045. Okay. Now my question is, is this composite number? Yes, because it has factor 51009. So, this way you have to solve this question. Thank you. Last question of this exercise. Question number 7. 
There is a circular path around a sports field. Sonia takes 18 minutes to drive one round of the field, while Ravi takes 12 minutes for the same. Suppose they both start at the same point and at the same time and go in the same direction. After how many minutes will they meet again at the starting point? Now from this given data that Sonia takes 18 minutes to complete one round and Ravi takes 12 minutes to complete one round. Let this be the circular sports field and this be the starting point P. Both Ravi and Sonia are moving from this point in the same direction. Let this be the direction. In first to cover first round, Sonia and Ravi will take 18 minutes and 12 minutes respectively. Now we'll find to cover second round, third round, fourth round, fifth round, how much time both of them will take. Sonia will take 36 minutes. Okay. And then to cover three round, she will take 54 minutes. To cover four round, 72 minutes. To cover five round, 90 minutes. Basically, I'm writing the multiples of 18. Similarly, for Ravi, 24, 36, 48 and 60. If you see, when Sonia will cover 2 rounds in 36 minutes, Ravi will cover 3 rounds in 36 minutes. Which is the concept of LCN. That means in 36 minutes, both of them will be again at the starting point P. That means in this question, we are finding LCM only. And factors of 18 are 3 into 3, 9 into 2, 18. Whereas the factors of 12, 2 into 2, 4 into 3, 12. Now you all know that how to take LCM 18 and 12. Which comes out to be factors 3 square and here 2 square 9 into 4 36. So this is the concept behind this question and this is the presentation.